Greenlit occupations and possibly New Zealand residents fast tracking within two months of your arrival here. That is our topic for today. If you've been following me, you would know there has been a bit of change in New Zealand immigration and there is a new visa type that would be launched on 4th of July 2022 by name Accredited Employers Work Visa. And I promise you guys there as soon as there is an update from New Zealand immigration on how this new visa type would work, that I would bring it on here. So that update has been released and that led to the emergence of um, Greenlease occupations. So in this video, I would be exploring and sharing the advantages, the criteria, why is a um, green list occupation a big deal and how can you explore it so that you will be here in new zealand sooner than you can think of from july so before i proceed i would like to do my way disclaimer as usual i am not an immigration agent i am simply um uh, an african immigrant from nigeria precisely and when I moved over here, I didn't really see that situational and um, life sharing experience information um, from um, my point of view and all of that. So I decided to put myself out to always update you guys, give you the situational report for you to know what to anticipate, know what living, working, study here is all about. So I'm simply your girl. Julia Chinello. So let's get started. The two major advantages of this new visa type and the emergence of green lease occupations is that firstly, employers are not compelled to advertise any job they intend to rec recruit if it is on the green list they can't just go straight off and advertise from offshore uh, because that occupation has been proven to be hard to fill according to new zealand immigration so there is a, a much more room for employers to recruit from overseas which will increase the chances of you getting job from offshore and also set and also um if you get a job that is on this green list occupations and you arrive here from July 4th when this new visa type would commence, you can possibly qualify or be eligible to apply for your residence work visa just two months after your arrival. That's July, August, September. You could possibly be eligible to apply for your um residency visa and pursue your settlement from residency to permanent residence then citizenship so it's a big deal guys for those of us that have been here to start from students um after studying work search then you try and get a job that would give you that medium wage then you start applying we know it's a big deal so in a minute i would walk you guys through the immigration website so that together we would um, see this at five occupations know what the criteria is all about and I'll give you one or two tips on how you can um, make your application stand out so before you know it sooner than you can imagine you would be here in New Zealand starting off your Kiwi dream so before we hop on to my computer for me to share that screen with you also there is um this um the criteria okay i have already said it and another thing that i want to add is that there is um a a, a good age range that that is acceptable with this 55 years um um and younger so if you're 55 years and younger and you want to migrate and possibly settle here you still have the opportunity unlike most countries i think aussie do 45 years canada 35 years if i'm wrong please correct me in the comment section so this is really a very big thing for people that are older that still want to jabba 
so we would hop onto my computer and i hope you guys always um and i wish you guys um good luck on exploring this tip that i would receive testimony on people that were that got um lucky and got hired by credited employers and we'll catch up here okay guys just as i said promised that i would um walk you through new zealand immigration website so that you would see what this green list occupations is all about so that you can explore it so here we are guys so let's have a quick read before i go ahead to uh, show you the um 85 occupations in the on the list that i downloaded so here this is new zealand um immigration website so it says green list occupations if you want to hire a migrant on a accredited employer work visa and the role is on this list you do not need to advertise for the for the job check so just as i said earlier on just to um show you guys where i got the information that um yeah that that's um currently what is happening so your chances are higher so if the role is on the list an employer can complete the job check without proof of advertising as long as the minimum requirement for the role at least match the minimum requirement on the list the green list also provide a fast track to residents and a walk to residents pathway more information about this resident walk resident pathway will be provided soon so as they um provide more information updates on how does um visa type and the green list um, work i would always let you guys know so it also carries on here that all qualifications listed as requirements are based on are based on the new zealand qualification framework nz qf unless stated otherwise you know if you've been following me also i've talked about nzqa how you can get your overseas or qualification assessed so that you can ascertain the new zealand equivalent if um if it if it matches any here if it's acceptable and all that so um this opportunity is actually for those that are ready and i know without assessing um your qualification through your uh, working experience and all that you can get a job but you are more likely to stand out if this um if your overseas qualification is assessed by NZQA. So that is among the tips that I said I'll probably give you. Maybe you get your uh, overseas qualification assessed so that they know employers will be attracted, knowing that um this is um the equivalent of this um in overseas engineering certificate here is level seven, is level eight yeah so let's carry on it says occupation that have a fast track to residence if you are eligible and have worked in any of these job you can come to new zealand on a work visa from 4th july 2022 and apply for residency from september 2022. trust me guys like i said earlier on this is just a butter on a platter of gold some of us here did not have it this um this interesting that within two months of our arrival here we're already eligible to start our resident pathway so let's carry on minimum salary requirement we apply for some jobs and we change with the median wage each year just like i told you guys um for the couple of years i've been here um medium wage keep changing as the cost of living increases so it should match what um the medium wage is we will provide more information about eligibility and application process for residents soon so i would be dropping the link for you guys on the comment section as i have always done so these are the core um, occupations 
that are um, hard to fill or that are highly sought after here in New Zealand. Construction roles, engineering roles, health and social service roles. I know you guys are not surprised about this third one. It's just always everywhere. Primary industry and science roles. IT, electronics and telecommunication roles. So these are the occupations that are highly sought after. So this um, is um, the downloaded list I did that is a little bit more specified mentioning the the roles by their um, different names. So you can see construction project manager, project builder, quantity surveyor, surveyor, chemical engineers, civil engineering technician, civil engineers, electrical engineer, electronics engineer, electrical engineering um, technician. So um, and you can see all oh, engineering, engineering, material production, yeah, and so on and so forth. So if you come to the second list as well, it carries on, you'll see your telecommunication engineers, um, telecommunication network engineers. So that's it about um engineering field and you enter medical field now you see general practitioner anesthetics psychiatrics and so forth and so on this um is on the health about health resident medical officer medical laboratory scientists clinical psychologists and psychologists so this is it about um, um medical field just as i I've always done, I would always attach the link and attach everything on the comment section for you to have a look again. So the work to residence pathway eligible migrant in this occupation can apply for residency after two years. So these are uh, um, continuation of the medical field and all of that. So guys, um, explore yep and do not forget to share your testimony when this start manifesting my main purpose of, of putting in so much work and doing all this is so that most of us um will have this information and if there's bad governance where you are you've had it um you have had enough and you want to relocate for a better life for yourself and your family um so that you can have it this life you only live once and stay blessed and safe till I catch up with you guys in my next video.